After a thrilling comeback win over Big Ten opponent Indiana on Sunday, Ohio field hockey played its first matching game of the season against Ball State. The Bobcats started off the game slowly and Ball State took advantage. Shortly after creating a near miss chance off the post, Cardinals defender Michaela Graney gave Ball State a 1-0 lead on a corner. Falling behind early was no problem for the Bobcats as they went on an offensive surge, generating six shots and came close to leveling the match multiple times in the first quarter. Even with the slow start, head coach Allie Johnston says the way her team responds shows their resilience. But no, they, the way they react to that uh, is incredible, and that's that's this group there. Yeah, I would say the word you used was resilient. Ohio continued with its offensive momentum, creating numerous chances throughout the second quarter. However, Ball State goalkeeper Hannah Johnston made several saves. Keeper, I mean, their keeper had an incredible game. Uh, we struggled getting around her and get, getting the rebound to fall the way we we're trying to. Trends from the first half carried over into the second as Ohio was still struggling to find the back of the net. The Bobcats had a game-high five corners in the third but were unable to get anything past the Cardinal defense. Then finally, midway through the fourth, Pauline Hartley deflected a long shot into the back of the net to tie the game at one. Both teams pushed for the final minutes of regulation, but neither was able to take a late lead. And for the second consecutive match, the Bobcats came back to force overtime. Their fortune wasn't the same this time, as Ball State controlled the overtime frame, and ultimately, sophomore Christine DeTizio set up the perfect play for Flor Noper to slam home the game-winning goal. <laughs> Despite a 2-1 overtime loss to their first MAC opponent of the year, head coach Ellie Johnson says that her team's energy and unity are both really high. The energy on this team is incredible. The unity is phenomenal. Um, yeah, this is a special unit, and um, to not come away with a win is, you know, it's just heartbreaking for that group, especially when we're pretty dominant on the field. Ohio will have a week off before traveling to Kent to take on the Golden Flashes. Reporting for Bobcat Showcase. I'm Andrew Bowlby.